Hello there, and I'd like to speak to you today about superfoods. So what is super about superfoods? So superfoods contain mostly an amazing ingredients, uh, vitamins, minerals, and also have amazing other purposes too. So the two superfoods which are vegan, they're plant-based, so um, they're, they're amazing. Um, there's, there's three or four I'll probably talk about, if I remember the top of my head. So the first one I want to talk about is uh, coconut. So this is an old coconut which I found in the jungle here and there haven't been many today because I've eaten them a lot which have been fallen on the ground. So every day I come here in the jungle and I find some new ones but it uh, looks like not many have fallen. Um, so coconuts are amazing. They grow really fast. Um, I, one coconut tree may produce about two or three hundred coconuts a year. Um, and they contain litres and litres of water. The biggest coconut I had, which was huge, which was about this size, and it must have had a litre and a half or a litre and a quarter of coconut water. The coconut water is amazing. In the Vietnam War, they use it as blood transfusions. So in hospitals, they had the, the bag above the bed in hospitals. Have you seen that going into the body and the veins? And because the coconut water was the closest thing to uh, blood, the pH uh, or the balance, so they're able to um, basically uh, recirculate and uh, the, the blood back into the body, which is really amazing. Um, there's about 100 different uses for coconut oil itself, and I have some here, which uh, I got a bottle from Gili Meno near Lombok in Indonesia. They sell them in these... Uh, Red Bull bottles, which is quite handy. So everything's mainly recycled here. Um, so coconut oil is great for the hair. Um, it's great for um, oil pulling, which helps to clean out your teeth, any debris in there. Uh, also good for the skin, good for afterburn, helps to heal the body um, externally, internally. Um, it's a great base for, for making sort of cakes and a lot of vegan treats. So if you have a if you've seen or eaten a lot of vegan treats out there, you probably find it contains coconut oil as a, as a bonding uh, content itself. So coconut is, is is an amazing material. The whole tree you can use it in for building. So uh, behind me, you can see the the, the tall, very tall um, parts of the the palm, the coconut palm, the natural tree itself. The wood can be dried out. It's a great building material. Even coconuts itself, the coconut husk can be grounded up, it's good for soil, it has so many great benefits. The, the leaves here are used for houses to help keep uh, the rain out, it works really well. So when they dry them out and they weave them together and they create the um, sort of the coconut leaf uh, sort of ruse, it's amazing, really good. It's so nice to be here in, in Raja Ampat in Indonesia and also all parts of Indonesia are seen where they mainly use a lot of coconut uh, leaves, coconut palm leaves, to uh, build houses and, and everything, so amazing. So that's one of my top uh, superfoods uh, out there. Next one is the, the hemp plant and the hemp seed. The hemp seed contains uh, you know, over 40 vitamins and minerals that you need in your daily diet. It, it's just losing about two, three or four or five, I can't remember, uh, vitamins or minerals that you can't find elsewhere and so you have to do resources. So you cannot live just alone on, on hemp seeds, um, but they contain a lot of resources in there. It's, a great, it's another great building material. The hemp um, plant itself can be dried. Uh, so a whole field of, of um, hemp plant can be used like uh, hay. So building ho houses out of straw bale houses and using it as uh, hempcrete, using lime and hemp together. And after many years, the, the CO2 in the atmosphere, the carbon dioxide, will sink into the, the hempcrete and make it as hard as stone. So it's amazing. It's also porous, uh, breathable, waterproof, and really, really strong. Hemp is an amazing material to make clothes out of, build houses. It's good for making clothes, string, rope. Um, back many years ago, they used to do just that. Uh, however, the term hemp and cannabis, because it's from the same plant, uh, the female plant being uh, marijuana, cannabis, and hemp being um, the male plant. Uh, they all come from the same plant, it's just the hemp is from the male plant itself. So it has amazing uh, sort of health benefits and also living. You could basically live on hemp <laughs> pretty much, almost. 
Another good superfood is bananas. I often do banana island. Banana island to me is having a week of just eating uh, bananas only. And the way I love to eat bananas is um, putting it into a smoothie, a Vitamix. So your Vitamix is about this, this, this tall maybe. And at the bottom you put about this much water. And then you put about six to eight or nine bananas, depending on their size, fill it up blend it up and knock it back and it's it's a great it has lots of uh, calories in there has some protein and you can basically just live on bananas for for a week for those of you who are concerned about um, overdosing on potassium it's impossible you cannot overdose on potassium unless you have a potassium uh, issue in your body um, so basically if you're allergic to bananas or potassium which i'm not sure if it it is true out there, but you know, again, seek a doctor or consultant or whatever to make sure that uh, you are okay. But for me, I can eat bananas for a week and a half or a week, and I'm fine. After that, I start craving some other foods. So bananas are great, uh, great part of food to, to live on. They have lots of carbs, enzymes, proteins. However, the bananas that we find in the west, in the Western world, uh, like Europe and England, um, they're very, very big. They're about this size, you know typical yellow curved um, but out here I've only seen the very small bananas growing and I think that's mainly due to cultivation um, over many years of cultivating a certain plant they will grow so it's like the hemp seed you know now the hemp seeds are much bigger and we're getting much much bigger vegetables so the bigger the banana is now it's just probably maybe it's GMO'd you know hopefully it's from a different type of species plant I need to do my research but for me bananas is is an amazing superfood to have other superfoods out there are such as goji berries which contain a lot of phytonutrients they contain a lot of proteins uh, and they're very high in vitamin C also um, so yeah, there's lots of superfoods out there. Another favourite of mine is spirulina, marine phytoplankton and corella. Here out in uh, Indonesia, in Raja Ampat, I've heard there's lots of blue whales and they mainly feed on uh, marine phytoplankton. And marine phytoplankton is, has the, the highest protein source found on Earth. So it's basically, if, you, if you're vegan and you have spirulina or marine phytoplankton, you may want to think again because it's not plant-based. It is a tiny, tiny creatures. Um, it's plankton, basically. That's ground up, it's dried, and, and you're eating that. So am I vegan if I have spirulina? I don't know. I don't want to put myself into a box, but mainly I have things that are natural from nature. I don't eat any animal. I don't have any animal products. But spirulina contains a lot of proteins, has an amazing high protein content, and you having about five tablets uh, three times a day can basically uptake your protein content. So if you're a bodybuilder, if you do lots of uh, calisthenics, if you do lots of weightlifting, uh, any sports endurance is great. Recently I recommended to my brother who does a lot of paramotoring, he does camping and takes a very heavy machine and his, his wing and fuel and water and supplies and so he's at the end of the day he's very he's um he, he's drained so i i advise him to take some spring tablets with him during his travels and just to help the protein content going back to hemp hemp is great the hemp protein powder is another one of the highest sources out there too if you mix uh, hemp protein in a banana uh, smoothie with uh, some coconut um, and yeah you're going to have a great protein source which is really really good good thing about protein which I'll talk about in another video is that you're cutting out the middleman you absorb uh, plant protein within seconds and minutes uh, com other than uh, meat protein which basically takes you 24 hours to digest because you have to turn it into uh, liquid and into human protein then you can absorb it it takes about 24 hours to get into your body so if you're having a, uh, a, a meat after your training you okay it's high in protein however it's going to take much longer so you want to be getting that window of when you get the protein much much faster so for me superfoods are amazing they're here for a reason and you can usually tell how good the plant is because you can do so much with the plant alone. As I said, the hemp plant alone, you can make clothes out of it, you can build homes, it's good for nutrition. The same for the coconut as well. The coconut has a lot of great minerals in there. 
Um, I did a coconut fast for four days here in Gilimeno in Indonesia. I loved it. I didn't feel hungry. I felt really hydrated. It was it was amazing. So those are the the few sort of superfoods that I recommend you put in your in your diet as much as you can. Um, I don't have any bananas to show here. I do. I did left them behind in my um, in the hut. However, um, you know, superfoods are great. They are known as superfoods for a reason. And they're not super, they just, they're from nature, how nature should be intended. Stop eating out of packets, guys. Stop eating processed foods. It's not good for you. I'm talking to the locals here and they don't have cancer. The cancer comes from processed, high sugary salt foods, which is killing us, killing our bodies. It's killing our children. It's killing our planet. Please stop. And I'm hoping that this is, uh, enlightened you a little bit watching this video perhaps you knew all this information already if not then do your research be your research and be healthy be balanced and enjoy life thank you for watching and i'll speak to you again thank you take care goodbye